In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an email list on Gumroad. Now before we get started, I'm just going to brief you on what exact topics we'll be covering in this demonstration. So first off, I'm going to explain to you how the process works whenever you get a new subscriber on your page and where they can do that. And then from there, I'm going to show you how we can start building our email list so that we can tailor it to whatever we need to automatically send to either our customers, our subscribers, a new affiliate, or whenever a potential customer or a customer uh, cancels their membership or subscription. So apart from that, I'm going to show you what workflows we'll be needing and how we can create our own and edit what contents we have on our email list. So let's begin. First off, you're gonna wanna log into your Gumroad account and then head to the homepage. Now, by default, everyone's Gumroad store or Gumroad account has this uh, subscriber page feature where whenever the customer visits their online page or online store, they can choose to subscribe to your account or your store and then we'll be able to store their emails for um, any promotions or marketing uh, emails so if you don't know where to check this uh, subscriber page as you can see from here you can just check this url right here which is basically just your username and then dot gumroad.com slash subscribe so as you can see there is a field here where they can enter their email address and then choose to subscribe for email updates on your Gumroad account. Now, you can actually check this by going to the homepage and then on the left side of the screen, you can find the emails right here. And if we click that and then click on the subscribers tab, you can see that you can share the subscribe page right here. So if we click that, it'll be copied to the clipboard and then you can just paste it on your browser or you can share it to either so your social media or via email, uh, whatever platform it is that you wish to share your subscribe page to. So from there, once a user or customer subscribes to your page then their email will be listed on this tab right here now to get started on the email list we're just going to look for the workflows option right here on the left side of the screen and then we should find the option to create a new workflow so by definition, workflows allow you to send scheduled emails to a subset of your audience based on a trigger. So we get to choose what triggers the email or the series of email that gets sent to our uh, users or customers. So we're going to go ahead and click on new workflow. And as you can see from here, we can just edit how this workflow uh, operates. So for example, Maybe we're trying to do a subscriber email list or subscriber workflow, whichever works for you for the name. Then we will choose the trigger. As you can see, the trigger can be a purchase from a specific product or maybe all products or any product. It can also be from a new subscriber. It can be when a member cancels their uh, membership or whenever you get a new affiliate. So for this example, we're going to try the new subscriber feature. You can also uh, toggle this on if you wish to send emails uh, to past subscribers. And then here, if you want to specify that uh, if you want to specify the trigger to be if they've bought any particular product, you can do so right here or has not yet bought any of these particular products. You have the option to do that. Now here you can specify the date 
of when they subscribed after or subscribed before but we're just gonna leave this blank since what i'm focusing on in this email list is that if they're generally a new subscriber then um this workflow or email list will trigger so since i don't have any uh, previous subscribers or currently i don't have any subscribers yet then this will work perfectly because every new subscriber will be the first batch to receive this email list so we're going to go ahead and click save and continue so that will be our workflow and now we're just going to start creating an email list so we're going to do our first one here as you can see this one will allow us to uh, identify the amount of hours or days before they receive this email upon subscribing so let's say for this instance i want it to be immediate so right after they subscribe they're gonna already receive this email so i'm gonna keep this value at zero and then hours before or hours after becoming a subscriber and then maybe it's a welcome email for the new subscriber so just uh modify the subject and of course the personal personalized message a bit welcome to my gumroad store then just put in some more details whatever you want to include there just to you know be more inviting and welcoming to your uh, subscribers and you can attach files if you want to as well and then once that's done just click on add email or actually this is a new feature because it used to be uh, one by one but now uh, you can start to already create a series of email list right here on one page so this is actually more convenient than their previous uh interface so here i can already start creating my uh second email so for the second email let's say i want this to be sent a day after becoming a subscriber so for the second email maybe it's a a little about email so about our store a little storytelling if you may and then i started uh selling on gumroad just a little backstory on uh your uh your gumroad store basically how you came about to uh, selling things online. And then maybe I'll create uh, one or two more. Let's say this one will be two days after becoming a subscriber. So this can be uh, uh, how to get started on something. And then whatever info you may need for that. And then maybe one last so let's say let's try one month after becoming a subscriber since it's been a month and they've uh let's say they've stuck around into the community then maybe we can provide a specialized discount code for you something like that just to uh keep the subscribers or customers engaged and uh you know just to reward them for being a loyal subscriber here's a special discount for you something like that so now we have a total of four emails that are automated on this email list so we're just going to go ahead and oh, actually we're missing a bunch of uh, 
we're missing a bunch of subjects here so i'm just gonna edit this a little bit so this should be a day a day after the first the second one should be a day after All right, so let me just fix this up. All right, so we've fixed our email list. So we have the first one, which is uh, immediately they'll be sent this welcome message or email. And then a day after becoming a subscriber, they have the about my Gumroad section or about my Gumroad email. And then on the second day or two days after becoming a subscriber, They'll get the how to get started. And then lastly, a month after becoming a subscriber, they'll have this specialized discount code. So once we're done with our email list, we're just going to go ahead and click save changes. And then, of course, we're going to have to publish this. Because if we check the workflow, we can see that uh, currently this email list is unpublished. And if it's unpublished, then the emails won't automatically send to uh, a new subscriber. So we're just going to click on the pencil icon and make sure that you publish the email list. And then once, that, once that's done, the workflow should be activated right here. And you'll also see... A bit of a summary report on how many emails were sent how many were opened and how many clicks so just a little tracker to check the user behavior based on your uh, email list so here we have a subscriber email list you can also choose to maybe do one for let's say a purchase of a certain product so customer only Something like that. Uh, customer email list. So, let's say you have a uh, you have a free newsletter that you offer. If you have that, then just choose it from your product, and then uh, you can indicate if they paid a certain amount. But for a newsletter, since generally it's a free offer for um, first time uh, visitors or buyers on your Gumroad account, then you don't have to indicate a price on it a price on it so from there once the customer uh buys your technically buys but it's for free so once they get your free newsletter then you can trigger this uh customer email list and then you can start uh building your own email list for that kind of trigger so it's entirely up to you how you strategize your uh email list and how you draft the message for each email and that's about it that's how you build an email list on gumroad if you have any questions please let me know down in the comments below and i'll do my best to help you out